afternoon. Hope everybody's having a nice um, day, is it today? We all merged together with Christmas and New Year. Hope everyone's, hope everyone's having a nice Thursday. Uh, back here streaming my Newcastle save. Just to give you a recap after, after yesterday's stream, we are currently top of the Premiership with five points clear of Liverpool and Man United. And that. So we've also got Chelsea and Man City and Arsenal in there. Um, yeah, so uh, let's crack on. Hope, uh, I hope everyone's putting up with the cold, dreary weather better than I am. I hate it when it's like when it's like this. Um, we just got to put up with it. We we live in Britain. We're not we're not lucky. We don't live in somewhere like Australia or America where we have constant hot weather. But yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we did. So we ended the transfer window doing a lot better than I thought we would. We've got um, we've got these two players coming in in the summer. So we've got Gonzalo. In a, in a, in a, in a, oh, I I'm not even going to attempt that. I'm just going to call him uh, Gonzalo. Um, so, Sporting Lisbon defender, highly rated in real life and, and on here as well. Very good concentration, head in and jumping reach. Uh, we've also got this gentleman here called David Martinez. He is um, highly regarded in real life and also on FM uh, has very good potential so hopefully he'll do well for us um, if I had more I have got quite a bit of money actually um, actually I don't know if um, I don't know if Gonzalo has been confirmed yet no it's, these are just contracts at the moment so I'm not going to go for anybody else so they will just leave us up but yeah we'll just quickly do a recap of the January transfer window so um where are we there we are so we brought in a couple of players that were recommended by the dof who had high potential but never heard of them but so they probably won't do much so Mas masani and abdu they probably won't go on to do well for us but so let's concentrate on first team signings um yusuf owa makoku was signed on loan with a optional fee of 125 million we i don't we're not going to be activating that we're good we might try to go for him in the summer if we can't get Amashen. but we're not going to be paying that much for him there's other strikers we can get that would be cheaper than that um we signed ali coot the former brentford and dundee united player he was recommended by the scouts he had good potential so i thought it's well, it's signing. We went and got Andrea Cambiasso on loan. I'm just seeing if he is related to Esteban. Doesn't say that he is, so we'll just assume he's not. Um, who else we signed? We signed Gianluca Mancini, a very good central defender. So we signed him because we need to improve. We needed to improve central defense straight away. Um, when you're relying on Botman, Byrne, and who else? And Shah. I mean, Shah's pretty good in real life. He's doing well this season. But, yeah, we needed another quality central defender. So the future defence really will be him and Shah in central defence with Botman and Iniesa. Iniesa. I'll, I'll just call him Iniesa uh, from Sport in Lisbon. As backup, so yeah, and then when it comes to transfers out, there's quite a few to be honest. So, um, Emil Kraft went to Marseille for 1.2 million. The Zells went to Caligari, Cal Calgary, we'll call them, for 1 million. Sean Longstaff went to Aston Villa on loan with the potential signing for about 8 million, I think. Um, Paul Dummett went on loan with I think a future fees agreed or they're just going to have him on loan for now and then Callum Wilson went for 12 million Joe Wilcott went on loan with the potential of a fee going in there as well so yeah so it was um, I had no money in the, the start of the window and then 
for people who didn't watch the last stream, I completely missed a inbox item on here that told me that I, the, the owner was very happy with how I was doing and gave me 91 million. I didn't notice until the last the last day of the transfer window, so I had to kind of rush around trying to get some quality players in, but managed to get Mancini in, and I wasn't able to get... Um, who was the striker we went for? Uh, Amashen, I, I, uh, I couldn't get that deal through in time, so I concentrated on bringing Gonzalo in because I feel like the defence needs strengthening more than the attack at the moment. We're quite good with the attack. We've got Iza and Makoko up front for the rest of the season, um, and then we'll be given more money in the summer, so we can go for Amashen or another top quality striker to push Isaac uh, and challenge him. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll do very well. Hello to the people who have joined the chat room at the moment. I do appreciate you, your support. Feel free to say hello, ask me any questions if you want, or just uh, enjoy the stream while you're here. So we've got Brentford next. Um, Brentford, no easy team, very well organised. So we will have to be at our best to get something out of it. We are five points clear. So we don't if we lose this game, it's not the end of the world, but we we just want to keep winning basically. We just want to keep going. So our starting lineup for this game is Pope in goal, Libramento as right back, Shah in the middle of defence with Botman, Target on the left, Lewis Hall in the middle with Anderson, and then Carrier on the right, Almin in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. If Isaac doesn't play well in this game, I'm going to start playing Makoku a bit more, especially as he did well in his first game. So it'll either be sink or swim for Isaac, either having somebody threatening his starting lineup place will bring out the best in or it'll bring out the worst. It's time will tell. Sink or swim. We have the first highlight here. Career on the right. Nice little tap in by Gordon. Is it going to be allowed? Probably not. The ref is checking VAR. And uh, it's been allowed. Excellent. That's a good start. It's 14 minutes play, 15 minutes play, sorry, and we're 1 0 up. Gordon now with the free kick, just over by Botman, I think. Courier with the corner. Out to Hall. Hall now with a beautiful pass to Courier. Beautiful pass to Isaac. Isaac scores. He obviously heard me um, threaten his threatening his starting place and he's decided to show me that he is still the main man here. It's a very good problem to have when you've got two very good strikers in Isaac and Makoku. Um, Callum Wilson is a pretty good striker, but I just don't think he's good enough for what we need to push forward for for trophies. Uh, Makoku and Isaac are very good young quality strikers that have got years ahead of them. Oh, Corey and then Ailey with the goal. That's the end of the first half. We're 2 0 up. We'll, we'll take that all day long against a team like Brentford. Like I said, very well organised. They're doing well in, in, in at the moment, ninth in the league. Libramento now with Correa. Great shot by Anderson. Caught the keeper off guard. Um, anyone that's... Uh, if, if it still sound a bit muffled because of the mask, I do apologise. I um, assumed it was because of the mic because the microphone's not very... It wasn't very expensive. And I was looking at getting a new mic and I still might. But um, someone suggested to me to basically look at getting an open end open open mouth um, mask so yeah so I've just ordered a couple of them hopefully I won't get sued by WWE because one of them's a Rey Mysterio mask but we'll see hopefully I can eventually I might just try and get my own custom made Lucha 
mask or something, so there's no issue for copyright. Oh, Isaac no, no, nearly with the goal after a great pass. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So you just have to bear with this and out. It's a work in progress. Um, eventually, I'm going to put these streams up into uh, episodes for YouTube, but I'm going to edit them nicely so there's not all over the place. Elliot Anderson there with the goal. Nice to see the hometown boy score. So yeah, 3 0 off. Comfortable victory. I'm just going to praise the players. Just going to take a few players off. And then we'll give Ali Coot his first game for us. Okay, that's weird. Suggesting that I play Makoku there. I don't think that's a good idea. Can he play there? I mean, it's saying that he can. Can he? No, he can't. That's a weird suggestion. We'll undo that one. Lewis Hall, there's no one else can play in there. Um, we put, we swap there. See if that'll help him anyway. No, it won't. Oh, fine. I'll just leave my Cooper up there. Right. We're winning 3 0. It ain't going to make much difference. And then you watch them bloody score now. Oh, I hit the bar. They nearly did. Looks like that's it. Looks like the end of the game. 3 0. Nice little victory for us to start the stream on. We're now. We're now. I don't know. Let's have a look. I think we're seven points clear now. Yeah, so we're now seven point. No, I can't count today. We're still just five points ahead. But that's still good. Still means we're doing well. Uh. Mavadidi come off the bench and had a quiet game. The advance forward had a miserable game, mainly due to his inability to win headers. Can I do... No, I can't. I was going to see if I could train his head enough. But yeah. I used, in real life, I, when I was a kid, I used to be terrible at heading. So I, I sympathise with uh, Mavadidi. The only thing I, I was good at, at football when I was a kid was because I, uh, I I was pretty good at crossing because um, I hoofed the ball up. I was a bit of a what they call a toe poker, so I was pretty good at doing that. Um, that's the only thing I was good at. I got nervous on the ball, so I didn't. I never liked having the ball, um, so I used to just pass it as soon as I got it, I was, and that sometimes I. Do a bit of skill, but I wasn't very good at it. And I had a decent shot on me, I suppose, because of the fact that I was a toe poker. But yeah, uh, much better football players that I played with. I was very jealous of my mate Paul, who used to be able to take people on for fun and he'd do all these skillful things and basically just make them look like idiots. And I was ever so jealous of him. But I had my own specialty move called the Shin Roller. Because I couldn't volley properly, so whenever I tried to volley, it literally just trickled down my leg and then off my foot. No, my mates who were much more skillful than me always tried to do it, and they could never do it. So at least I had my own little move that nobody else could do. Anderson not happy with his playing time. We'll compromise. Uh, we might not get Martinez because of work permit issues. <sighs> Managed to uh, finally sell this coat I had. So basically, for anybody that's not been watching the stream regularly, I also sell clothes 
on eBay. And I sometimes buy job lots of clothes, whether it's hoodies, coats or whatever. And about over a year ago, no, about a year ago, um, when it was all kicking off with Ukraine and Russia, the war that they've been having, um, I got sent in, in a bundle, I got sent a Russia World Cup, uh, I think it was 94 World Cup coat that they wore. So it was a unique bit of a little a unique bit of um, memorabilia, but no one in the right mind really is going to buy a Russia World Cup coat uh, because of, because Russia and, and Ukraine situation. So I've had it for about a year, and I've I've been slowly lowering the price, lowering the price, accepting that I wasn't going to make. A massive amount on it even though initially i did set the price quite high because i'd seen similar ones sell for about 200 quid in the end i sold it for 50 pounds i still made money on it because it only cost me like a couple of quid as part of the bundle um but i was just glad to get rid of it and a half of the money that i i got for it goes to i can't remember what the charity's called but it's to do with helping people of russia um it's like a charity that helps people that have had um oh, i'm trying to think of the word just people in ukraine that are going through hardship because of it and it helps them um uh, help give them food and, and stuff or get some out of the, the where they are where they're at risk so at least i turned a negative in a way into a positive so yeah so half the half the money i made from that 25 pounds went to the charity so that's my good deed for the day but anyway, um, back onto this. So we've got, we're playing Sheffield United at home next. We've got Pope in goal, Chippery on the right, Mancini makes his debut with Byrne, and then we've got Cambiasso on the left, Bruno's back with Joe Linton, and we've got Coop on the right wing, Brahim Diaz is back with Barnes on the left, and he's up. So we've got a few players come back and a few players unplayed um, that rotate a bit, so that's good. Right, so submit team. Oh, we've already got a highlight one minute in. This could be good or bad for us. Oh my god, what an absolute defensive catastrophe there by Sheffield United. We were very lucky not to get punished there. Cambiasso with a nice pass to Bruno. Bruno with a little pass to Trippier. Trippier drives on with the shot and he scores. Excellent. Good old Kieran Trippier. We can always rely on him, just like the Geordie fans can rely on him in real life. Great professional player. Great sign up for Newcastle at the time. I mean, a player like him, would, look, I'm not saying Newcastle aren't a top team now, but when he went to Newcastle, uh, they'd only just been taken over and stuff like that. So he, he started at the project when it was first started. He could have he could have gone on to ID. He could have gone on to play for another, uh, other top teams like. Um, Maybe, I wouldn't say Arsenal because he used to be a Spurs player, but could have gone back to Spurs, could have gone to Chelsea, I suppose, could have gone to maybe Man United. Not not that Man United's a top team now, but they were probably uh, at the time before he left. So Liverpool, maybe. No, we wouldn't, probably wouldn't have gone to Liverpool. They've got enough there with Alex Arnold and other players that play right back. But yeah, very good player, Trippier. Here he is, talk of the devil with the corner. Another corner by Trippier. Out to Brahim Diaz with a great ball control. Passes it to Burn. Burn to Mancini. Mancini feels a bit lost. He's not used to being that far away. And that's the end of that. But we're within 1 0. We'll have to wrap through that. Canviasso with the free kick. Out to Barnes. Harvey Barnes back to Cambiasso with the Cambiasso with a lovely little cross. Very unlucky not to score there. What's the situation with Cambiasso? Have we have we got a future fee agree? He's a pretty good player to be honest. Um, optional. Uh, we're not going to sign him. We might sign him in the 
some are depending on our other business, but we don't necessarily need him when we've got Matthew Target. And uh, we can get a cheaper left back as cover. Like I said, the main oh, he's a, a main priority really in the summer is get a, another top quality striker because we're probably not going to sign Makoku because Dortmund one hundred twenty five million. We're not going to pay that. They're probably not going to accept anything lower. So that oh, trippy with the free kick. Um, so that prices him out. I think you maybe go for another uh, an English striker to help with homegrown stuff. So maybe Dominic Solanke or um. Ollie Watkins, maybe, or somebody like that. They wouldn't necessarily play every game, but they'll play a fair few decent games because he's have to probably won't play every game. Or obviously, the obvious one is to go for to to basically spend all of our transfer budget for next season on one player and going for Victor Omashen, which is what we'll probably do because that's the aim of this save is to bring the best players in the world. I want to try and get players like Mbappe and Haaland in after a few years, hopefully. And uh, it just depends on financial fair play and things like that. We probably won't be able to sign for that reason. But we'll try. Like I said, the summer transfer window, it might it might be a situation where we just we just uh, improve the team by one or two players, but they're, they'll be like the, the best players in the world. And that's what we'll do. Coop now with the ball, passes it out to Joe Linton, Joe Linton to Trippier. Back to Coop, Joe Linton nearly scores. So uh, at the moment, we're pushing them. We'll probably get another goal eventually, but they're doing very well defending against us. Who, anybody not playing particularly well? Not really. Dunburn, maybe. Let's try and um, like substitute him. Libramento there. Uh, Brahim's not playing particularly well either, so we'll take him off. Put Carrier on. So yeah, the plan is to basically do this for the next times it now nearly half two. So we'll probably do this until half four, maybe half, maybe five o'clock if we're, if we're, Feel like if I if I feel like I can get the season done in this particular stream, then I will. Oh, sorry, just realised I had it on pause. Trippier now. What a great goal, Ali Coots. He might end up being a, a bargain signing. Really, we didn't pay much for him from uh, Bohemian. How much did we pay for him? We paid, I mean, less, I think it was like a million. Yeah, 750 grand. Scores on his debut. Bruno uh, with two assists at this game. So he's probably going to get, I reckon he's in contention for Man of the Match. He's, well, actually, Ali Coote's got a better rating, so we'll probably Man of the Match. Oh. See, that's another player. I mean, I think this one's going to be offside. That's another player worth looking at is... Oh, no, we did get it out. Is this player here, Daniel Jebison, very highly rated. So I'm just going to add him to the shortlist. Cat for Canada. Um, I just assumed he was English. I didn't realise. So he's uh, English, Jamaican as well. Um, born in Canada, decided to play for Canada. So fair play to him. And I'll be looking at him... Potentially as an option. Oh no, I don't. I don't think we're able to sign him. I think I've just seen something here. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, that one. Oh, he's going to PSG at the end of his contract. Why didn't we look into? And oh, we couldn't have signed him on a con. Uh, offered him a contract anyway because English to English clubs in it. But we'll add him to the shortlist. We'll see how he does. He's probably not going to get game time at PSG, so we might be able to pick him up quite cheap. If he's not getting the game time, but we'll see. One for the future, but you know, fair play to him. And lucky for Sheffield United though, because they get bugger all for him, and he's probably one of their prize assets. So, but if he ain't willing to sign a new contract, there's nothing they can do. 
Corrie and Al with the ball. Great little cross, dipping header, saved by Beckham. If anyone has any suggestions for world class players or even top prospects that you, uh, you you might want me to try and bring in, by all means, I did a save. Uh, my first save on FM24, or one of my first saves, was with Villarreal. Uh, I had a really enjoyable save with them where I basically just signed South American players that were not yet discovered. So players like Daniel Martinez, Luciano Rodriguez. Uh, there were so many. Um, somebody on the side down forums started a thread. Or it might have been me, actually. I can't remember. Uh, I don't think it was me. But started a thread for South American hidden gems, and there was a lot of suggestions in there. And I signed a lot of them just to test them out, and and quite a few did really well. Um, Anderson Durate was a really good one as well. He's very cheap; you can sign him very cheap. But yeah, great result for us. We're now seven points clear. So I'm not going to say we won the title just yet as it's only February but to be seven points clear in February is very good I'm just going to praise Coop he's going to be a good signing I've got a feeling he's going to be really good why is he wanted no I don't want him to go out on loan now um, wrong button loan status get rid of that he's basically a squad rotation player now really or at least back up yeah Bournemouth next I'm usually pretty quick at getting uh, these days in between. So he's another player on my sign in. Re in real life, he's on the verge of signing for Barcelona. Not Barcelona, Man City. I apologise. In real life, he's on the verge of playing, signing for Man City and going back on loan to Real Plate. So I think Man City are going to sign him and he'll go back on loan to Real Plate for the rest of this season. Maybe they might extend it for uh, another season because he, he's been being so young and it would be better for him to get first team football and then maybe he'll be part of Pep's team in a, a year or two if Pep decides to stay um, I think if Man City don't win the title this season I don't think Pep will want to be there much longer because he'll probably feel like he's he's come full circle but depends really it depends on I think if it just goes one way or the other he'll either leave because he'll, he'll probably want to go back to manage Barcelona one day I reckon or we want to manage the Spanish national team but the only issue with him managing the Spanish national team is he's only he's only going to see the, the players a couple of times a year so it's probably not what he wants he's not I don't think he's ready for that so and he's never managed in Italy or fr France I know he's ticked Spain England and Germany off the list um, so we'll probably go don't think he'll go to France because I think PSG job will be probably too boring for him because it's t it's too obvious of a, a gap with PSG and then every other team in in France. Italy would be an interesting one for him. I can see him going managing say Juventus into Milan or AC Milan, Roma, one of the top teams in Italy, and just absolutely dominating in there like he's done everywhere else. So we've got Bournemouth next. Um, De Gea in goal, Libramento on the right, Mancini in the middle with Botman, Target on the left, Lewis Hall and Anderson as the midfield partnership, Almeron on the right, Raheem in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Career up front. Okay, well, that's a weird one. Like I said, I usually leave my assistant manager in charge. In fact, I'm going to put him on. Career can come on for because Diaz didn't particularly play well last game, so we'll just. For a change, or we'll swap it up, swap, uh, swap it about a bit. Trippier's on the bench, so I assume he's not match fit. So yeah, so we'll leave that as that. We'll see how we get on. See if we can get an early goal. Settle the nerves. Not uh, not much happening so far with 20 minutes gone. No highlights. If 
first highlight of the game, Libramento to Anderson to Mancini to Botman, passes it out to Target. Target drives it forward on the left. Passes it back to Gordon. Gordon now. What can he do? Hall. I feel like we're uh, we're getting pushed back by Bournemouth here. We're not able to uh, penetrate their defence. Libramento now on the right. See if he can do any better. Passes it to Almiron. Almiron now more creative. He's going to drive on and shoot. He bloody does. Look at that for a goal. That was an own goal. Okay. I thought he just blasted it in. Um, we'll we'll slow that down. We'll have a look at that again. That one. So Libramento passed it to Almiron. Almiron just drove it in. Shot. Oh yeah, come off their uh, defender. But yeah, we're winning. That's all that matters. Oh, sorry. Again, forgot to pause it. De Gea now with the goal kick. Passes it out to target. Target drives it forward on the left. Keeps going. Passes it to Gordon. Gordon nearly messes up there. Back to target. Lewis Hall with the ball. Back into Bot uh, Botman. Botman gives it to Mancini. What can Mancini do with it? Gives it to Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson passes it back. A lot of sideways and backward passes. I'm not liking this at all. Come on. Come on. Stop faffing around. We're not playing FIFA where you want to keep possession to annoy the opposition. Great pass to Makoko. Makoko should have done better than that. Maybe I should have had Korea up front. Or Korea, however you pronounce his name. Kelly with the corner for Bournemouth. Interception by Gordon. Gordon now. What can he do? Loses it to Kelly. That's not ideal. Oh, Bournemouth nearly punished us for that stupid mistake by Gordon. Neto with the goal kick. Can we intercept this? We have done. Almiron now. What can he do? He drives past. Very quick. Oh, that's a dirty foul. Send him off, ref. Is he going to get sent off? Yes, he does. He had no other... He couldn't do anything else about it. He had to send him off. That is the law. Let's take off Mancini. Put Burn on. Let's take off Hall. We'll put... Have we got a defensive midfielder? No, we haven't. Uh, let's leave it as that for now. We could do with actually a defensive, another defensive midfielder, as well as a striker in the summer. So if we can get both in, great. But we won't stress too much about it because we are pretty good. Oh, foul by Bournemouth. Tyler Adams fouls target. Is this going to be a penalty? VIR is just checking. Penalty awarded. Excellent. Let's get this. Lewis Hall. Please score. Lewis Lewis. Please score. Great. Great little penalty by Lewis Hall. First goal of the season for him. Uh, Gordon's knackered. So we'll put uh, Harvey Barnes on. Another highlight for us. We should we should comfortably win this now. We're two 0 up. I'm happy to shut shop now, but I feel like for the players we, we could do with getting another goal like that. Makoko, is it gonna be allowed though? Probably not. I mean I say this every time and, and lately they just let every single goal go in, but Oh, awarded, excellent. It's nice to see Makoko get another goal. Taking off Korea. Uh, I was going to take off Libermento, but we've used up all that stuff. Lewis Hall with the free kick. Nearly scores. Let's see if we can get another goal. One more goal. Hit the bar from the header. Do we get another corner from this? We do. Target now. 
with the corner, headed it out. Okay, that's the end of that. Okay, okay. Almer on now. Anderson. Makoko. Oh, yes. He's a really good player, Makoko. He just seems... He just looks really... I don't know what he is, but he just looks really good in a Newcastle top as well. I think it just inspires him to score. He that, he likes wearing them colours. The, the, the stripes of Newcastle. Black and white. But we're definitely not going to be paying... 125 million for him. I don't care if he gets another 20 goals for the rest of the season. We're not we're not signing him for that much. Now, if we can get him for 80 million with it with it being in oh what a mistake by the goalkeeper there, Brian Diaz punishing him. Um if we can get Makoko for about eight million with it being over a forty eight month payment plan, then we'll look into doing that. But I don't think we're going to go higher than that. I might try and get him in loan for another season if if we can't get him in on a permanent transfer. See if we can get a new stadium built. I don't think it's going to happen. No, worth a try. You never know. They might let us build a new one eventually. Just praising Makoku. Uh, let me see. If, let me test the waters. Let's see what what they will take for him. We expect to provide competition for places and plenty of playing time. Yeah, okay. But what about the fee? You're not telling me how much the fee is. Uh, oh yeah, because I remember last time when we looked in to sign him. Oh no, that was Amersham. See, so there's ninety five. Is that a minimum? That's a minimum. So we've got 54 million. I assume we've already signed Inacho. But anyway, let's try 50 million. No, no. Let's try... Just get that down to 40 million. And then installments. If we do six installments of... 50? We'll go to 50. No, they're not happy with that. Okay, let's try... Because we've only got 40, 54 million, so we can't really do much better than that anyway. So we just do... We'll do that. We'll do 45. We'll do... Can we only do go as high? I don't know. No, we can only go as high as 50 million. So let's try... After the league appearances, we'll go 40 and we'll go 20 minutes. So it's a lot, it's a big deal, but it's all spaced over. So spaced out, so it won't be as bad on the finances. We'll try that. If they don't accept that, then they're just greedy buggers. Oh, here we go. The board feels like the transfer fee doesn't represent value for money. Decide that we'll be therefore looking to cancel the proposed deal. Oh, okay, fine. They feel that the deal amounts to be absolute maximum. Okay. Let's see if we can get the board to change their mind. Uh, we can't because the financial fair play restrictions. So that's annoying. Uh, we'll look to try and bring him in the summer. Just going to go on holiday for the next six days until the next match. Never agree. You can always negotiate the wage down. Oh yeah, I know. I for, I forgot to do that. Usually, I I do that when I'm speaking to the agent. I just I just be curious about how much they'd want for him. So yeah, no. Uh, yeah, error on my part. I do, but yeah, I look into negotiating afterwards. Sorry. All right. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to sign him anyway because of financial fair play. But we'll see. Because obviously when the new season starts, it, it resets, doesn't it? So hopefully we can sign him or Amashen in the, in the summer. Just 
All right, let's see if anything's happened. Nothing important, I don't think. We'll just praise him for his training development. Rory Powell. Yep, we've uh, rejected the offer. Fair enough. Uh, let's, let's try and make inquiry. They'll probably say 95 million. Uh, we, we can't sign him anyway because we signed this month. That's all of our wage. That's all of our transfer budget used up for this year. Um, but yeah, it's a good signing though. Comes in in the summer. Fitting nicely with Mancini. You know? See, this is the man I want to go for. If I'm going to choose him or Makoko, even though Makoko's younger and done well, I just feel like he would take us to the next level. Finishing 18, heading 18. Off the ball 20, 17 acceleration, jumping reach 16, pace 19. It's just uh, the thing is, when you've got. Oh, okay, well, Real Madrid's uh, not going for him now, so. Uh, let me just see if I can get the. No, I was hoping I could get the ball to sign him. Right, we're looking to bring him in the summer. Let's get this season done now. So we had five of our players in the Premier League Premier League Team of the Week. We got Cambiasso, Botman, Trippier, Coote and Makoko. I didn't bother signing Deli Ali in the end, did I? Where did he go to? Oh, he's still at Everton, what am I on about? Doing alright though. Well no, he's not doing alright, what am I on about? He's doing terrible actually. I'll just add him to the short list though. I probably won't sign him this save. It'd be nice to see where he goes to in his career though. I'll just praise Makoko and Libramento. Chelsea next game, that'll be a tough game. Shah out for two months, and that is not good news. That is not good news at all. Thank God we signed Mancini. How are we going for him? We've got no money. Yeah, exactly. We've got no money. It's because he was a transfer target. Just ignore me. Right. So, line up for the game against Chelsea away. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier on the right, Mancini and Bottman in the middle, Target on the left, Bruno and Joe Linton in the middle. And then Correa on the right, Brahim in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. No highlights yet after 10 minutes. First highlight, we're in possession, Bruno. It's not a good sign that we've already had two players brought back for 15 minutes. That concerns me a bit. Sorry, two seconds. We've just got to open the map. There we go, two seconds. Um, Sorry about this. I've got me my, uh, my glasses are a bit steamed up. Anybody that wears glasses will know how annoying it is when you smear your glasses and there's nothing you can do about it. Very frustrating. Just bear with us. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm sorry if you saw my disgusting sofa. By the way, um, I will be looking to replace at some point but yeah sorry about that right let's crack on career now to joe lynn joe linton places it in the bottom right corner how many goals he got this season so far five or six that'll be six goals for the season doing very well Can Chelsea come back from this? Any time will tell. Uh, 
They do. He's a very good player. Actually, yeah, Christopher Nakum Nakunku? Nakunku? I hope I've said his name right. I'm just going to add him to the shortlist. I know he probably won't come to us, but he'd be a, a, another great player to potentially bring in. He's a world-class player on the level of Omashen and players like that. Uh, he had a, unfortunately had a bad injury, but he's now back. I think he's starting for Chelsea now and doing, doing well, I think. Chelsea, real life playing football manager, bringing in all these wonder kids and trying to get them all to gel. And it's not really working, but hopefully in time they can build a team because I really, I really like Pochettino. I liked him when he was Spurs manager. So I want him to do well at, at Chelsea, even though I don't think like chat. What the hell are you doing, Brian? But yeah, hopefully Chelsea will, you know, they're, they're nearly as bad as Man United when it comes to, oh, that's annoying, um, near as bad as Man United when it comes to just just not being run properly. Just hopefully Sergio and Radcliffe can get the right people in into the club and hopefully we can start making some good moves in the recruitment part of it and then I hope that will hopefully uh, improve us on the pitch we were very lucky to beat Aston Villa the other day uh, we're not always going to be able to do that but it was good to see us uh, it's good to see the players have the mentality to get back in the game and then end up going on to win and I was really happy for Hoyland to get his first league goal for us he could tell how um, which it meant to him. So, yeah, so hopefully he can get a few more for us now and in the next season he can go on and flourish. Yes, that's what we want to see. Isaac getting the equaliser. Will there be any other highlights in the first half? Probably not, but we'll see. Now, three players booked in the first half. That's not good. That's good, though. Matthew Target. Will it be allowed, though? They are going to be in our favour. Yes, they are. The comeback has happened, and we are now 3-2 up after being 2-1 down. But Chelsea always have a chance to score. They've got really good players on... FM in real life with Sterling and Mur Murderick, who's probably going to score. There he is. I bloody set it up nicely for the narrative there, didn't I? Oh, will this be allowed? Yeah, it will. We can't always get them uh, going our way. Let's try and demand a bit more off the players. Hopefully it'll fire them up. Brahim's not doing very well, so we'll substitute him. We'll put Almer on him for him. Anybody else? Uh, probably do we get subbing some of the book players but they're all playing i mean trippy is not but the rest of the other two are playing very well and i feel like they're them two with, with their physicality are key to keeping us in the game they just got to be careful not to get booked uh again because they'll get off them they'll be sent off and we don't need them banned either because we're not very uh we've not got many quality players in central midfield so we can't afford to do that especially when we talk Long, we put long stuff on loan because he's usually our backup when the other two are injured, and I didn't have the money to replace replace long stuff because I opted to use it to improve our various. So in the summer, main priority is sign top class striker and get another central midfielder. What a great game for the neutral, eh? Four three to us now. I'll run with a great little goal. Right, Botman needs to come off. Dan Byrne. Could do with taking Mancini off, but I don't... Oh, no, we need to take off Gordon. Gordon's knackered. Uh, Harvey Barnes, you're on. See what you can do, Harvey Barnes. Target now with the throw-in. To Bruno, to target. Back to Almiron. Almiron drives it forward. Oh, he's up for it, Almiron, isn't he? 
he's uh, flourishing in this game. He's he's definitely up for it. Free kick to us now. Bruno, let's see if we can get the. Uh, we need another goal to settle this game. I think if we get another goal, I don't. I don't think there's any going back for Chelsea though. Bruno should have done better with that free kick, mate. Target now. Back pass to Burn. Out to, back into Barnes. Burn to Mancini. Mancini back. Uh, Jolin back to Mancini. Sorry, Libramento now. Loses the ball. This is not good. If this is a hard act to Chelsea, we're screwed. Oh, no. I thought we had that then. Oh, we were so lucky then. Thank God it was Cucurella with that then instead of uh, Nakunko. If Nakunko had that then, we probably would have, they probably would have scored. Let's keep this lead, lads. I mean, we don't need to win this. We are uh, doing very well at the moment. We, If we win this, we're nine points clear. So we should be champions at some point by that point, unless we just go on an absolute terrible run. But we've been quite lucky. Usually on FM, it doesn't matter if I'm a big team or a small team, I usually go on a bit of a bad run. So it's quite refreshing to see us just be consistent with this. Like I said, I've used this tactic here that I've, uh, that I've used. I've used it for all sorts of teams, whether they're big or small. Uh, even in my current save with Peebles, uh, Peebles Rovers in the Scottish Non-League, I'm using that tactic. And I'm not storming up the leagues, but I've had, I've had a couple of promotions and I'm now in the Lowland League in Scotland. But uh, I've had a few seasons of... I was fourth... No, I was second, seventh, and then the season I just done, I uh, was fourth, and only one team can get. Um, there's there's one team that can get into this playoff final. So the top team in the lower league, I think they play the bottom team in the league above, and they're in a playoff final. And then, you know, um, so I've got to I've got to be top of the league just to get into the playoff final, which is quite ridiculous, really, but. That's just how it is in the Scottish non leagues. But yeah, great little result for us against Chelsea. Very entertaining going for neutrals. Sean Nav uh, Nav Nav Navadidi sorry, had a poor game before being sub substituted in the 73rd minute. The advance forward was disappointing and be quiet in attacking areas. Rarely find himself positioned to influence the outcome of the game. So I need to have a word with this man. Criticise Lone Spell. What? You can't be serious. Okay, he's very unhappy. We'll try and convince him. I don't think you're making complete sense. Okay, we'll just leave it as that. Uh, he's not happy. I mean, he's he's not played well the last two games from looking at the match report. I had every right to do that. So we're still in the Champions League. I completely forgot about that. Uh, just bear with us and just rehydrate. Ah, my big flask. Right. We can't sign him, so we're just going to reject it for now. If it annoys him, it annoys him. Luckily on FM, on FM there's quite a few very good strikers not all of them are attainable though because if you will class striker you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna cost a fair bit of money and financial fair play will not let us do that in fact let's have a look at financial fair play for a second so uh we're 15 million down at the moment from that uh rejected period this will all change anyway because we'll get a sponsorship deal that will sort it all out no point looking at it yet. Nothing very exciting in that meeting there. So we're playing um, AC Milan 
in the Champions League final 16. We never know. We might progress well in the Champions League. Newcastle had Almiron and Isaac in the Premiership League, Premier League team of the week. Knott's Forest have just uh, just hired Fajetti Nutson. Decent manager. Where are Knott's Forest at the moment? I don't think they're doing very well. I think they're in the relegation zone. Oh no, I stand corrected. They're not. They're just um Yeah, they're just there. They're only about five points clear. Luton uh surprisingly uh I mean they're only three points but at least they're not in the relegation zone. I just assume they'd be down here. Obviously Everton because of the 10 point deduction, which I still think is very harsh. But then again, if they had that 10 points, they'd only have 14 points for the season. They've had, they've been terrible this season. On IFM, they are a pretty good team. Um, you know, if you do this, Onana, Patterson, Calvin Lewin, Dan Juma, Braith White, Neil, Pickford, Godfrey, Garner, they've got a better as well, who's very good, Tokowski. Uh, so they've got a good core of a team, Jack Harrison as well. And, you, and you know, it's just ridiculous that they're in that position. Um, anyway, enough about Everton. For now, anyway. Because I'll be doing a YouTube season series with them at some point. Probably next week, hopefully. I want to try and get the video editing part down to a T before I start doing it because... I don't want to just be producing rubbish for YouTube at the moment. I'm just uploading my stream from Twitch onto YouTube, and that's not going to probably get me anywhere. So, um, about 40 subscribers though. On uh, I know there, I know there are good my friends in real life, people on the side game forums, or um, bots basically. But uh, if we just click on this, anybody can see. Let me just go on the OBS Studio. So. Yeah, so if we just do that and then just expand it a bit. Yeah, look, 40, 40 subscribers. So they're mostly bots, I reckon. Um, I got a little bit too excited yesterday when I saw. Um, but yeah, somebody confirmed what I already thought. And they are they are bots. But, you know, it still helps in a way, I suppose. So yeah, right then. We're playing AC Milan now. Hoping goal, Trippy on the right. Botman and Byrne in the middle, Target on the left, Bruno and Jolin in the middle, Almiron on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. Let's see what we can do against the Italians. AC Milan, my um, favourite Italian team from when I used to watch uh, Italian the Italian football show on Channel 4. Uh, really enjoyed that back in the day. And AC Milan, of all, uh, they for me, AC Milan have always had the best, or some of the best, football shirts ever produced over the years. Great little goal by Joe Linton. It's a good start. Three minutes into the game, we're already winning. But yeah, over the years, AC Milan, if I had the money, I'd literally buy every single AC Milan shirt over the last 30 years and just have them all um, framed and put in my, put in my photo all over my flat. But yeah, I haven't got the money to do that. Um, plus, I'm a free XL, so if I bought the shirt for myself, I know I can, I know I can get an AC Milan shirt in a free XL, but it'd be harder to find them. So I need to lose a bit more weight first. I'm nearly down to a two XL though. I've lost a bit of weight over the last few months, so uh, hopefully I'll lose a bit more next year. But slow and steady. Gotta stop eating too much sugar. That's not helping. Fortunately, my uh, my girlfriend she's diabetic, and since she's been with me, her blood sugars have gone up a little bit. So I'm going to try and be uh, a good supportive boyfriend because she's going to try and knock sugar on the head as much as possible in, uh, starting next week. And I said to her that I'm going to try not to eat sugar as much as well because obviously it's not going to benefit me in the long run either it's probably undoing all the good work i'm putting in at the gym great little goal by diaz two nil up after 14 minutes we're doing very well 
great little great game for the the Geordie fans to be watching Champions League football at St James's Park, and we're already winning two 0 against the great team of AC Milan. But yeah, uh, so I'm going to try and knock sugar on the head as much as possible. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh my God, we're just absolutely romping AC Milan. There's no other word for it. We're just destroying them. Oh, I've jinxed us. I've jinxed us. You watch, they've scored, they've scored three goals now in the next half an hour of the game. Loftus cheap, nearly scores. Yeah, 3 0 up in the first half. Very good performance so far. But can AC Milan get back in the game? If they get a goal by the end of the first half, they'll feel like they've got a chance of getting something out of this. And they seem to be, they're not, they haven't given up. They seem to, if anything, it seems to have uh, made them determined to score against us now. But will this change when we get another one? Are we going to get another one? Bruno now to Botman. Out wide to Trippier. Trippier with a little, little pass to Almiron. Almiron now pushes forward. Great little goal. Joe Linton with a hat trick. Get in. Just going to give him a little... I know I can't. I'll give him some praise in a minute. There we go. Praise. There we go. Could have been, I could have been cheeky and asked him to... Uh, Instead of pressing praise, I could have gone demanded more, but it probably would have uh, annoyed him. Just watched uh, Lelujo's. Uh, Lelujo is latest blog about his his tight his Christmas holiday getting absolutely ruined because they had a power cut or something in the in the place he usually goes to. Um and he still hasn't had his refund, his twenty five percent refund they promised him. He's he's had nothing but bad luck with refunds. He, he didn't get his money back for uh, the Euro trip thing he did later on in the year. But yeah, not good. They never seem to have a... I've watched a few of his videos of him going, doing his travelling and stuff like that. And he's, he's, he's never had any issues. He says himself he's never had any issues with it before, but these things happen. Can we get another one? Make it a night to remember. No, we can't. Not at the moment, anyway. Yeah, I've just, I uh, know, oh I've already said it, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, I was going to let you know that I've ordered some new masks, so I already told you earlier in the stream. But yeah, they will be better. They're open, so they haven't got any bottom part here. So it will make it easier for me to speak without it sounding muffled. So that'll be good. Hopefully they'll fit me all right, because some of these masks, they're not exactly uh, made for... Big-headed people like me. I don't mean big-headed as in cocky. I mean, I've got a ginormous head because of my frame. I wouldn't say it's ginormous. It's probably me just exaggerating, but it's very big. Newcastle against Tottenham is the next game. Tottenham currently 8th in the league. They will be... They'll want to win more than we will, I think. Because we're about nine, I think we're nine points clear at the uh, at the moment. We might be more. I don't know. Then again, Newcastle were twelve points clear, and they end up losing the Premier League in the 95, 96 season. I think when Man United won it, after Man United were twelve points behind Newcastle in January, and then Sir Alex Ferguson used his uh, mind games on Kevin Keegan, just absolutely live rent free in. Keegan's head and Keegan bottled it for Newcastle and they 
and them and the play, uh, Newcastle and the players just lost and Man just went on and went on this incredible run, similar to Man City a few seasons ago, but we just went on and um, won the Premiership. But yeah, uh, we're currently nine points clear at the moment, but yeah, we're doing very well. Still a fair bit of the season to go yet, though. How many games are left in the Premier League season? So obviously we've got the Champions League and we've got the FA Cup still. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 Premiership League, Premier League games left. So we're probably going to win, but there's no guarantee yet. If we get another win over the top of the note, that will be good. Work out well. So our lineup for the Spurs game is Pope and Goal, Trippier on the, as right back, Mancini back in defence with Botman, Cambiasso on the left, Bruno on the in the middle with Joe Linton, uh, Correa on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Harvey Barnes on the left, and Isaac up front. Pardon me. Career with a lovely little defensive header there out of nowhere. Oh, if they had Harry Kane, and if he had the opportunity, he would have scored that. What a surprise, Romero getting booked. He gets booked in the first minute. He's an absolute madman, isn't he? If we're going to do a bookings prediction, I would have gone Romero and I would have gone Joe Linton and Bruno Gameras. Because them South Americans, they, lo they, love a, they love a tackle. They love to tackle. They love to get in scuffles. So it's always good to look at the, the battles between, oh, there we go. We're losing 1-0. That's not good. But yeah, the South American players, they love to have a little battle with each other. They're very passionate, though, so it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing because they get booked and sent off. But yeah, Romero, he, he's not happy unless he gets booked every game, I think. I think he must have it in his contract that he gets a bonus every time he gets booked. Right, Newcastle, Newcastle now trippier against his former club with the corner. Oh, good save by their goalie. Tottenham seem to be up for this game. We might be in trouble here. We might might have our first loss in a while on here. But we'll see. There's still plenty of time. We've still got the second half as well as the rest of this first half. But, oh, why did I open my big mouth? And just berated the team. They are they got to know that I'm not happy and they need to come back in the second half. See, our XG's letting us down. We've had five shots on target, but none of them are very threatening. Uh, Ezat might need to come off at some point and put Makoko up front. Oh, oh, come on. We should have scored that. Right. Let's try firing up. If all that fails, press fire up. Mancini... Needs to play better as well. Uh, put Bruno off. Uh, we'll take Bruno off. And who can we put? We'll leave it for now. Let's wait for this highlight to finish. Brahim, come on. Let's get a goal. Let's get a goal. Let's give us a chance. Cambiasso. Oh, good tackle by uh, Kuzovetsi, whatever his name is. Kuvaleski. Bruno now. Oh. Right, time to make some substitutes. So Diaz can come off. We'll put Anderson there. We'll take off him. Isa, we'll take off him. We'll put Almer on. Uh, we'll take off Bruno because he's knackered. But who can we put in there? We can't put anybody else in there. So, 
All right, so we'll do that. We'll put him in the middle there. See if that makes any difference. Um, so we can do that. And then there you go. I'll put Aliku on. There we go. Right, let's see what we can do now we've made all them subs. Let's try encouraging the team. Hopefully that will work in our favour. This is a corner to oh, it's a free kick to us. Yes, we've got a goal. Is it allowed? Probably not. <sighs> Referee wanted a bit of attention. VR? Yes, goal awarded. Come on, let's go. We can still get a point out of this. Let's go. Come on. Let's push forward now. Tottenham are going to be nervous. They're going to know that we're going to come after them. Great little pass to Correa. Ah, that was unfortunate. Right, we win the ball back though. Anderson to Botman. Ah, come on. Let's try and get another chance. Come on, we need to... Uh... No, we're not taking off well. Mark. We don't want to be down to 10 men. Come on, we've got one more chance here. Let's try firing up the team, see if that'll do anything. Come on, last chance here. Let's get a last minute goal. Come on. Career now. Oh, what a great goal by Career. Yes, get in. Come on. Right, I'm happy with that. We'll keep that point. We'll take Almer off now. So we didn't win that, but we didn't lose it. Uh, we're still we're seven points clear now. We're seven nine, but that's still good. Almer on out for four seven weeks. That is not good. He's one of our key players. Lee's in the FA Cup. I'm gonna uh, not too bothered about the FA Cup, even though it it'll be classed as a a, a cup that I've won. Um, I'm going to rotate the team for that game. Play Makuko and Ali Koo and players like that who are uh, back up, basically, and we'll just put them on De Gea in goal. Rest a few players, I think, to be honest. Why do they always do this when you when you praise them and then they just kick off about it? Why 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 would the staff suggest I praise him if they if the player's just gonna moan about it? I don't understand that at all. I think it's just FM just just I don't know, just make it just doing our editing really they like to have all these different interaction things and pointless features that just annoy the players uh, Mavadidi had a quiet game before being substituted in the 79th minute the advance forward disappointing quite an attack see that's another game you play rubbish I'm going to do it again see if this will help oh for God's sake I'm going to threaten you Oh, okay. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll uh, add him to the shortlist. Rodri. Is he as good as the other Rodri? Plays for Man City? Probably not. So, probably play for uh, until... Four o'clock, and then that will be uh, just just over two hours. I might play it till half four. Depends how I feel. My mouth's getting a bit dry. Just means I'd have to have more uh, 
hydration breaks. Um, right, so De Gea in goal, Libramento on the right, Mancini in the middle with Burn, Canvia. Oh, actually, I forgot. I'm going to rotate it on. Ro oh, Coop. Actually, no, this is quite rotated as it is. I'll leave it as this. So, yeah, we've got Hall in the middle with Anderson, Coop on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left, Makofo up front. Let's just see if uh, there's anybody on the subs bench that could do with some game time. Probably put Harvey Barnes on for Brahim. Uh, not bothering Matt Ritchie. He's not good enough. We've got a very small squad when you look at it. Um, yeah, right. Good, a good squad, but a very small squad, really. Oh, sorry about that. I thought it was getting a bit dry. Right there. First highlight of the game, Hall with the corner. Saved by Darlow. De Gea passes out to Mancini now. Mancini out to Coop. Coop goes all the way across the pitch for some reason. Passes it to Cambiasso. Cambiasso to Gordon. Barnes with a lovely little shot. Save for the goalie. Gordon now. Playing heads and volleys, well, looks of it. Uh, great little pass to Livramento. Oh, Livramento. Not known for his shooting abilities that I know I'm aware of, but uh, it was a good shot by him. Talk of Libramento, just got booked. We've got two of our defenders on, uh, on the yellow card. That's not good. Hall now with the free kick, loops it up. To some sort of. I don't know what happened there. Second half starts with a highlight started with uh, Leeds. Hopefully we can get this and uh, push on. Lee's trying to play a possession game by the looks of it. Nice little neat passes. Pass it forward. I think uh, Cole Palmer's playing for him, unless it's somebody else. Cole Palmer in real life doing relatively well for Chelsea at the moment. I'm amazed Man City let him go to Chelsea. I know Chelsea paid a fair bit for him, but yeah, maybe Man City knows something that Chelsea don't. Oh, interception by Makoko, drives on. Should have done better than that. Oh, I think it took a deflection, that's why he missed. Hall with the, fur, hall with the corner. Hall now. Pass it to Burn. Burn out to Anderson. Anderson with the through ball to Cambiasso. Oh, Coco nearly got on the end of that there. Let's get a goal. Come on. Let's get a goal. Bit of a poor header there. Right, Harvey Barnes, you're coming off. Diaz on. Libramento, you're coming off. Trippier. Uh, anybody else not playing particularly well? Hall, but we'll leave him because I don't think we've got anybody to put on for him. Libramento with the clearance now. Makoko with a great ball to Gordon. Gordon drives it forward and he scores. Good, 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 good. Makoko showing that not only can he score goals, he can assist as well. That's always good.
could save by De Gea. Gordon will put Korea. <laughs> Leeds are uh, they're pushing forward here. They're gonna try. They're gonna try and get an equaliser. FA Cup, anything can happen in there. And Leeds aren't exactly uh, a pushover. They've got a very good team. I'm expecting them to bounce back into the Premiership next season. Oh, oh sorry about that. Oh. Korea now. Oh, right. Let's try and get another goal now. Let's let's end this game. We don't want to. We don't want to give Leeds a chance to come back and win. Uh, come back and equalise. We don't want to play a replay against them. We want to keep the congestion of the the. the we want to keep the games down. We don't want an extra game for the sake of it. Especially with the squad that we've got. We've got such a small squad. Quite a lot of players knackered, so let's see how many more substitutes we can make. Uh, no, yeah, put the bottom off. Uh, Ali Coop, can you come off? Yeah, move that. No, can't make any more. I thought we maxed out at five. That's it. Get it out. Brahim, oh, come on. Close. Cambiasso now to burn. Back to Cambiasso. I think we're just uh, trying to just keep possession now, trying to run the clock down. De Gea with a good little goal kick, I think, but didn't really go anywhere with it. Botman now. Uh, I don't know what Man United are going to do in real life because Onana is going to be going away for the African Cup of Nations next in January. Yes, that's good, my Coco. Um, and we've only got this, I think it's a Turkish goalie. Um, I know many night fans might disagree, but we could do with that. We couldn't. We we could do with bringing De Gea in, even if it's for like a six month contract, so he can cover us over the January period. Um, but I know I know a lot of Man United fans were uh, very sour on De Gea after the FA Cup final last year. Um, I just think he gives us something that Onana. Doesn't I feel a lot safer with having De Gea in goal than Onana? But I know De Gea is known for mistakes now as well. Um, but I just don't. I just don't think Onana is the answer. I think if we're not going to go with De Gea and we're not confident in Onana, then we need to get another goalkeeper in. But then, is our priority? Is my night's priority in the summer? Um, Another goalkeeper? I don't think it is. I think we could do with getting a, a season striker. Ideally, we should have just bought Harry Kane in the summer. But I, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that one because um, they'd want a younger striker that can build a future for the club with, which is fair enough. But sometimes you've got to think about the current and not the future. Knox Forest in the quarterfinal, the FA Cup. You never know, we might win the FA Cup simply because of the the teams we're playing aren't the top teams yet. So they've agreed to uh, give us more coaches, that's good. They probably won't agree to give us another, no, never do. Uh, sports scientists, they only give you a certain amount. Not that they do much in the game, I know of. 
they won't give us any more recruitment. But at least they've let us have another. Oh, have we already maxed up the coaches? Well, that's not make sense. So they've increased it, but then you look at the the, the staff here. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we've got one, two, three coaches that we can hire. So we'll do that. I don't think we. I don't. I think we've got four, or we had three, three goalkeeper coaches. Oh, so I'll I'll just uh, I'll put an advert for all of them and see what comes up. There's, if we can improve in one area, we will. The more coaches you have specialising in certain areas, the the better. Uh, let's do that. Just, just do that. There you go. So we haven't got a game now for nine days, but we have got Man City next. So I will go on holiday. Add him to the short list. So we'll go on holiday. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to have a quick look online for anything. Uh, while you're watching that, I'm just going to have a quick look online. Just feel free to, if you are watching, feel free to. Basically, I don't know, go and have a cigarette, go and, uh, won't be back, I'll, I'll be back in a minute anyway. Let's have a quick look, six days left. Man City will be a tough game, they've got Haaland in there. Yeah. Right, two days to go. So, sorry about that. Sometimes there will be gaps where, sometimes there will be gaps where it's quiet. Mostly because I feel like I've, I haven't got anything particular to say. So I know it's uh, quite boring. Um, I'm not as good as certain streamers like Zealand or Lelujo who can always think of things to talk about too but they have um, a big following so they have people that talk to them in the chat so they it's good they can interact with them and get they get asked questions on very early in the journey so um, that will come with time but hopefully like I said I'll get some more interaction from people because that's what I enjoy really is is people who like what I'm doing and ask me questions about it and stuff like that or just talk to me um, so yeah it's always appreciated Mavidi Mavidi didn't play well again I'm just going to keep I'm just going to keep telling you off if you don't like it young man you can bugger off oh well there you go he finally agrees he needs to improve that's good hopefully that will spur him on Powell improving as well. He's been doing that quite a bit lately. Uh, he's not very good, but I'm going to sign him a new contract because he's been doing well in training. I feel like he deserves it. Uh, he's not doing as well. Okay. Maybe, I'm, maybe I was a bit harsh there. Matt Ritchie needs to go. I'm going to see if I just release him. Set for release. Mutual termination, see if he'll just go. Hopefully he'll just go if he's up a bit of ways because he's on a high wage. I'll add Anthony to the shortlist, not that I'd want to sign him, I don't think. Right, so let's have a look see who they've suggested. 
there isn't much choice. He's probably, I don't really want to take away from my under 21s because I want to keep them their staff strong as well. So I think it will be probably him. Only because he's got 20 in technical, so it will improve the technical side of the coaching. Carrick, is that Michael Carrick? Oh no, Graham Carrick. So they're saying that he could, Nathan Anianu, Anianwu, sorry, could become slightly better than Angel Correa. He's doing, actually, he's doing very well. Uh, well he's doing a lot, he's not doing well. Actually, he's not doing that, that well. His average rating could be better. Uh, I'll just praise him, see what that does, see if he'll improve his mood. Yeah, okay. But yeah. I'll send him out on loan next season as well, see if he does better with a, in a higher league. And we'll take it from there for the following season. Right. So we've got... We'll bring him in. And then we'll see goalkeeper to side. We'll bring him in. So we've improved the technical side of things and the goalkeeping side of things and also the fitness coaching. Makoko out for two weeks. That is not good. Uh, blocked it. Right, okay. Right, do that. And now we'll release him. And then they won't block it, I don't think. Yeah, you're gone, Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie, sorry. Freed up some wage anyway. Yeah, big game against Man City. We need to beat them. You know, I don't feel right winning the title if we don't beat Man City in the season. Because I feel like it's a hollow win. We need to cement that title win with a victory over Man City to show them we're the new kings in the kings of the Premiership. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippier is right back, Mancini in the middle with Botman, Target is left back, Bruno and Joe Linton in the middle of midfield. Correa on the right, Brahim in the middle, Gorn on left, and Isak up front. Let's go. Let's go. Players hopefully will be up for this. Oh, we've already got a highlight. Botman. I feel like there's going to be a fair few goals in this game by the looks of it. I don't think it's going to be an easy game though for us. Pope now. He was a bit anxious then, Pope. I don't hope... Uh, that doesn't happen all game. Brahim. Back to Brahim now. Literally just... There we go, Trippier. Lovely little cross. Unfortunate there. Back with Gordon. It's a good start. Bruno and Mancini already booked after, after the first 13 minutes. That was not good. We do not, and I repeat, do not need to be down to 10 men against a team like Man City. Oh, of course it's bloody Haaland. Right, it's the man more straight away. Come on, lads. Let's not put up with this. Let's get a goal back and we'll show him who's boss. And like I said, it's not the end of the world if we lose, but I think that means... Uh, I'll have a look at the league table. If, we're lo if we lose and the other team win, obviously... Doesn't help us with the title runner. Hope this isn't the start of a... Uh, oh, here we go. Come on. Uh, I should have hit that first time instead of trying to go around. Oh. Yes. Go on, Gordon. Gordon is up for this game. You can tell he's up for this one. Anthony Gordon has become a bit of a real-life favourite at Newcastle. He's been doing really well. I think he should be playing for England, to be honest. I didn't really rate him much at Everton. I just thought he was a bit like Jack Grealish, just just um, falls down a lot. But yeah, he's, he's doing really well. Oh, come on, Korea. We, you could have done better than that. Let's try encouraging the players. Been a been an action-packed game so far. 1-1 one, one, one after 17 minutes. It's a great game for a neutral. Oh, for God's sake. 
Haaland. Are we even, are we even man marking Haaland? Oh, let me. Uh, right. Opposition. We better be. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Weaker foot. There we go. Yeah. Let's try and sort out Harlan and stop him from bloody scoring. Come on, Newcastle. Man City in possession now. When we get this ball back, I think they're going to... I've just got a feeling they're going to score again. If they score again, it is literally going to be really hard for us to even get a point out of this. Hopefully the second half will be a better half for us. My assistant manager did the team talk. Hopefully he's given a kick up the backside. Career needs to come off, I think. He's not doing very well. We put uh, Coote. I'm going to trust Coote. Ali Coote. Trippier now with the free kick. Isa keeps the ball in place. Trippier. Oh, yes. Ali Coote. Super sub. Ali Coote. That, that was a great little uh, tactical uh, tactical decision by me. Right, let's take Mancini off. He's playing really bad. Dan Byrne on. Uh, Isaac. We'll take Isaac off and we'll put... No, we won't take Isaac off. We haven't got... We haven't got Makuko, so we can't take Isaac off, really. We haven't got anybody else to play up front. Let's try firing up. That will either go one way or the other. We have been the better team though. Ten shots, five on target, XG of five one point five three. They've had more possession though, so that doesn't help. Bruno, Joe Linton, Coot. Oh, Coot again. Coot's a good little player. I might start playing Coot more often. I think I think I'll just at the moment for the rest of the season. I think I'll just um, have him on as like a impact sub and that. But if he carries on next season, he's going to be the main guy as well on the right because he's just playing remarkably well. Thank God for that. I would have been happy with the draw after after we were losing two one, but the fact that we come back and won thanks to Ali Coot. Ali Coot, you're getting a new contract. You deserve a new contract. Oh, okay. Can't sign a new contract because he's only been here a few months. But in the summer, my friend, as soon as the first opportunity comes along, I'm signing you to a new contract. Give you a nice little wage, bo uh, wage boost. Boost. So we're... 10 points clear now, but they have Liverpool have got a game in hand, and so is Man United. I think they might be playing each other, that's why. Um, but yeah. AC Milan away in the next game, the Champions League. Hopefully we can beat them and progress from the knockout round. Be nice to get to the quarterfinals at least. So um, the plan is to try and get as much of this season done today and then the, the rest of the season I will be doing tomorrow. I don't know what time tomorrow because I've got a few things to do. But it, sh it should be the normal time, what, half one, two, probably two o'clock. And then I'll stream for about, may stream for about two hours because my... My girlfriend's come round about 
five o'clock so I like to usually be done and dusted before she turns up so it doesn't affect time that we have together and obviously I've got to go and give the uh, give the flat a bit of a clean before she turns up uh, and stuff like that really but you know, I'll, I should be all right I'll get on I'll, uh, I'll set my alarm I'll get up early I've got to go to the gym and then I'm going to do a bit of a shop I think and uh, yeah and then I will get back and hopefully have time to do some streaming Right, so Man City, not Man City, AC Milan next game. We've got Pope in goal, Trippi right back, Mancini and Botman in the middle of the defence, Target on the left, Bruno and Joe Linton in the middle, Career on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Barnes on the left, Isaac up front. I should have rotated this team in hindsight. I forgot we won 4 0. I thought it was a bit close than that. It was only two games ago as well, but for some reason I thought we won like 3 2 or something. Oh well. As I say, AC Milan will be up for this. They'll be wanting at least win this game um, and try and make it as close as possible to try and qualify. So we've got to be at our best. Their goalkeeper is already uh, the the goalkeeper is slightly injured, so that that might not be a good for them though. Rafael Leo, he's another good quality player. Let's add him to the shortlist. See another attack, another option up front that we could sign. Uh, but he he's he's very highly valued. I don't think we'll have the money to sign him. But he's definitely a signing that the fans would want to bring in. We haven't got going yet. We've only had two shots, none of them on target. AC Milan seem really up for this. They've just scored another one. This this could be a disaster. I'm going to demand more. Oh, is this offside? No, goal awarded. That's not good. Come on. Let's not balls this up now. We won 4 0 in our leg. Let's not mess this up now. If they score another one, uh, it's going to be quite worrying. We might still sneak it, but it's, uh, yeah, let's put Ali Kuhn on. Pope now to target. Players just don't look up for it. They, they just look either knackered or they're just not enthusiastic about this game. I feel like they're a bit, a bit arrogant. I feel like they think they just didn't really need to put the effort in because they were already winning 4-0, but... When you're playing a team like AC Milan, you've got to be at the top of your game at all times. Harvey Barnes, thank God for that. Right, let's try and get another one. Let's try not to lose this. Winning 5 2 in Agbert, so the pressure's off to a point. If they get two goals, though, and we don't score another one, the pressure's back on. So let's not try and do that. AC Milan attacking again. Oh, have we just given them a bloody penalty? We better not have had a player sent off either. Penalty awarded. Oliver Giroud. Gerard, Giroud, I don't know how you say his name. Uh, of course he bloody scores. Come on. This is embarrassing. Right, let's berate the players. We've had enough. Socks up. And let's get something out of this game. Can't make any more subs. So we've just got to get on with it now. Botman now to Bruno. Bruno, oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, players just don't seem to want to get anything out of this game. At least we scored. It would have been a bit more concerning if it was uh, if we were only winning 4-3 on aggregate. Because AC Milan always looked like they are going to score. Oh my god, did we just battle? I thought we just battled in the game. Great save by Pro keeping us in this game. Do a bit of time wasting. Are we going to get a goal to uh, kill this game off? No, we're not. It's two minutes to go. I think, yeah, that was uh, that was a very uh, first time all season that I've been a bit worried. Um, but we got there. Never did he. Didn't play well again. So we're through to the next round of the Champions League. So that's good. Not as far as away next in the FA Cup, I think. Yeah, FA Cup quarter-final. be nice to get to the final of the FA Cup anyway. For the fans, give them a day out. Hopefully give them a cup as well. We'll see. Got to get past Notts Forest first. Sorry, not Notts Forest. I hate being called Notts Forest. I apologise. Nottingham Forest. I apologise to any Notts Forest fans. Um, I've just done it again. Any Nottingham Forest fans, I do apologise. It's just I just like abbreviated names. I do apologise though. Just had somebody join the Twitch, probably probably not not in the Forest fan to tell me off. Um hello to the person that's just joined. Feel free to say hello in the chat. Right, let's view the Champions League draw. Let's start it. Let's go that one. Start draw. Uh, it's taken longer than I was hoping for. Napoli are playing Inter. An Italian quarter final there. Newcastle, that's us. So we're playing. Borussia Dortmund. There we are, not bothered about the other two. Real Madrid. Oh, Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Oh, I thought I accidentally closed it then. Uh, Arsenal playing Man United. So you got you got a, an Italian quarter final, you got a, a Spanish quarter final, and an English quarter final with us versus Dortmund uh, matchup. They could have uh, done that a bit better. So we were playing the semi final. We. Uh, all right, so we'll just do advance here. We won't mess around with this. So we're if we beat Dortmund, we're playing Real Madrid or Barcelona in the semi-final. Tough game. Got to beat Dortmund first though. That won't be easy beating Dortmund. Oh, so we've got a new youth in tape. The only player worth bothering with is this one the rest are just absolute rubbish so we'll just terminate that one uh, this is going to be boring so I'm basically terminating all these trials Terminate this one. Try 
try and get this done as quick as quick as possible. It's annoying that every time I have, I release somebody, I have to go all the way back. Um, do you know what? I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it. I'll release some afterwards. I wish there was a way where you could just um, highlight all the ones you don't want to have and then just release them that way, but you can't that one. Right, so we're playing Knott's Forest away. I'm going to rotate this team. I think Coop needs to be playing as well. Let's go full rotation. Oh, well, I'll we'll do full rotation. Uh, more rotation? There we go. So, uh, De Gea in goal. Livermento is right back. Mancini and Botman in the centre. Can be us on the left. Hall and Anderson in the middle. Coop on the right. Brahim Diaz, Barnes, and then Gordon up front. So... That'll be interesting to see if he can play up front. Because I think he played up front for Everton a few times. <laughs> oh, that was a... Oh, we could have got really punished there. All right, Cambiasso. Hall blasts it over and wide at the same time. Should have done better with that. We've got a corner now. Can we do something now at this? At the moment, we can't. Coop. Coop now with a nice little snapback pass to Hall. Anderson. Great little finish by Gordon. So Gordon will always play up front if it comes down to it. So it's not too bad of an option to have. Because we're quite lucky in these positions here that we've got like five or six players that can play. We've got Gordon, Barnes, Diaz, Coop. We've also got Almiron. We've got Correa uh, as well. We've got like six or seven players that can play in them positions and play well. Um, and we've got Isaac and Makuka up front when they both fit. So we're doing well. We just I think we could, we could do with another top quality striker because I don't, like I said, I don't think Kuko is going to be there next season. So uh, the aim is to get Omoshen or Makuko, and if we can't get them two, then we're going to have to look for something else really up front. But we will get a top quality striker. I'm determined to do it, even if we've got to sell up maybe one or two players, but uh, like I said, our squad's very thin, so we can't really afford to lose too many. That is not good. Oh, he's actually, yeah, he's actually another good striker as well. He's, um, I feel like he's underrated because he plays for Knott's Forest. I'm just going to, oh, no, 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 he's not good enough. C minus, that means he's not, he's not going to do well in the long run. Not as far as with the ball now. Can they get another goal before the first half finishes? Hopefully not. The build doesn't play nicely though. Oh. Alright. Let's see, let's see if we can get this uh, sort this game out. Oh, just, we're not doing well. Coot's not playing well. I think he's he's one of them. Where he probably he's probably better coming on as a sub towards the end of the game. Because so when 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 I've started him, he's not been doing that well. But hopefully that will change. Uh, I'm just gonna pause this. The man more. See if that'll do anything. They have just scored. That is not good. Whose fault was that then? Probably Libermento. Put Kieran Trippier on there. Hopefully Trippier will impact the game in some way. Hopefully positively, not negatively. Uh, let's make some more subs now. Might have to take Coot off, I think. Yeah, Coot's not 
he's not doing well there. Who can we put on? Put Gerald in, swap him with Andrew Correa. Swap him with Joe Linton. Push him there, maybe. Um, who else is not playing well? The rest of the team seems to be all right. Goalkeeper needs to be taken off there, but we're not putting carriers on that, which is asking for trouble. So we'll leave it as that for now. Come on. Let's try and get another goal. I don't want a replay though. Will it go to extra time? I don't know. Oh well. I can't win them all. No, no, but. Now they did it. You said you were going to do better when you're not. So, what's going on? You're right, I need to step things up. Well, you said that last time, but you didn't. Harvey Barnes injured out for three to five weeks. That, with the squad that we've got, that, that is not good. So, we're not got a game for 13 days. So, we'll just holiday this now. Um, hello to whoever's just joined the chat. So we're coming up to nearly two hours, uh, four o'clock, so I'll probably do another half an hour and then call it a day for today, just so I can rest my voice because I'm not used to talking for this long. I'll carry on with my Peebles Rovers off, uh, offline say. Also, probably watch a few videos on how to video edit, trying to uh, find the right video editing software there's so many re like recommendations off of the people it's hard, it's hard to pinpoint i'm trying to find one that i like the layout and it's easy to figure out so um, i would have gone with uh, adobe premiere pro but it's it's like 20 odd pounds a month and i am i am paying for something if i can get it for, uh, for free i was looking at um Back in the day, I used to be able to find any software I wanted for free because I would just find a crack for it or something, but it's not as easy these days as it used to be. So I had a little look last night to see if I could find a uh, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro for free, but I, couldn't. I downloaded a few, but they didn't really work, so I'll, I'll just try again later. If not, I'll give up and look at an alternative. I think if I can find one that's nearly as good, that's, that's decent, I don't want paying a little bit each month, as long as it's not more than, say, £10 a month. I ain't, I'm not going to pay more than that. But, yeah, I don't want paying, like, £10 a month if I'm using it all the time. Because I've, I've classed that as a, not a business expense, because it's not I'm, not I'm not doing it for tax reasons, but it, it, it's, uh, it's something I need for doing this content creating, so I don't mind paying a little bit each month, even though, ideally, when you're starting, you don't really want to be spending money on loads of different things you can do that as you go along when you get a little bit more popular yeah uh everton next game everton bottom of the league we should beat these but you know anything can happen in the premiership and i don't think our form's very good at the moment if we have a quick look we lost. We've lost two games in a row, so it's not an absolute given that we're going to beat Everton. How's Ryan Cassidy getting on? One goal in eight games for Forest Green. Not the best. I'll look to sell him in the summer. 
Let's have a look at this young forward that we've got. So we signed him for six million before I turned up. He's doing very well at Freynold, so I'm just gonna praise his loan spell. Cassidy not so much actually, so if we warn him by his loan spell. Okay, so hopefully he'll score a few more goals. See if we can loan him out. Oh my god, the injuries are piling up now. Bruno out for six to eight weeks with a broken toe. That's him out for the rest of the season, basically. And he's going to miss the Champions League final, obviously, as well. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot of injuries lately. It's probably expected with it being the end of the season. Players are getting tired a lot easier. So, um, yeah. Oh, how's Lewis Miley doing? Lewis Miley came off the bench, showed some brief glimpses of quality. Has he played any more for Wolves? No, he has well he's played one game. No, he hasn't he hasn't played anything. This has been a terrible loan for him. Almiron back to fitness, that's good. Dumb it out for two months. Can I recall him? Because there's no point in playing there if he's just gonna be injured the whole time. No. Try and remember to release Dummit. He can join Richie out the door. Actually, in fact, can I do it now? Probably not. Set for release, there we go. So we've got a new fitness coaching and a new goalkeeping coaching. Did Lewis Marley do well for the under-20s? Yeah, he did. Lewis Marley should have stayed at me. He would have played games as well because I'm a bit, like I said, I'm lacking in central midfield. Uh, I just, I'm amazed we've still got Hendrick, but he's on loan, that's probably why. Has he been doing well at Sheffield Wednesday? Hmm, not really. So this player here could be better than Joe Wilcock, but again, that's not exactly a glowing endorsement. Uh, he's only 15, so yeah, so we'll, we'll loan him out in a couple of years' time, see how he gets on. Ryan Cassidy out for six, five to seven weeks, so that'll probably be the end of his time there. Uh, oh, okay, well, this is good. Mavre did he turn in a performance of high quality. He added to the scoreline with a fierce shot in the 15 minute. That's very good. Well done. You finally listened. It only took you about eight or nine games. Uh, nearly, nearly messed up there and went instant result. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippi right back, Livermento in the middle with Byrne. So we must be light on central defenders then if Livermento's playing in the middle of defence. Let's just have a look. Well, Botman could play there, but I suppose there's a reason. I mean, look at the subs bench. We've got two players that are not fully fit. We've got one that needs to be, who's only just come back from injury. So target on the left. Ball in the middle with Joe Linton, Almiron. I might try to, I might try and train Joe Linton up as a centre back. Actually, to be honest, uh, Almiron, Anderson, Gordon on the left, Career up front. So right, let's go that. Ooh. What's everyone having for their tea tonight? And I'm having a chicken and bacon pizza from. Iceland, not the nicest, but I've had, I mean, I've had way worse from takeaways than I've had from there. So uh, I've just realised my mic was falling down. I hope everyone could have heard, could hear me in the meantime. But yeah, um, 
I'm in an Iceland's own pizza. Not the healthiest, but you know, sometimes you just gotta have a have a cheat day, as they say. Elliot Anderson with the goal. Lovely little assist by Kieran Trippier as well. Burn now. Passes it out to Gordon. Gordon to target. Target. Safe by the goal win. Well, it's probably got a bit of quiet time between these highlights. Just want to say thanks again to uh, people in the chat. Oh. Um, yeah, thank you for anybody that's come to have a little listen of the a watch of the stream. If you stayed the whole time, I'd really appreciate you paying attention for that long. Um, I know I'm not the most entertaining streamer, but I do appreciate it. So thank you. I'm hoping you're enjoying how I'm going, how I'm doing with. Newcastle. Like I said, in the long run, I'll be doing a more difficult save. My my next Twitch stream save that I'm going to start in a few weeks is going to be... Oh, is this Gordon now? Oh, look at that. Comes back with the rebound. Um, yeah, my next, as I've said before in previous streams, it's going to be a journeyman save where I will um, probably have about maybe eight or nine different countries loaded up and then I will do a journeyman save with them uh, I might even ask in the group chat uh, or the group chat in the on the forums I'll, I might ask them what leagues I, that they think that would be interesting for me to do a journeyman save on and then I'll probably pick them countries so yeah um, I'll probably have the top five leagues uh, down to their lowest divisions and then some other league, some other countries as well. In I'll probably just stick with Europe. I don't think I'm going to do South America, North America, Asia, Oceania, or anything like that. I think I'm just going to stick with Europe. So it'll be like a European journey, man. And I'll start a small team, maybe in Wales or Scotland or Ireland, and then great goal by Gordon, and then just see how I get on with there. And what I'm going to do with the journey, man, save is I'm not going to apply for any jobs or declare interest in any jobs the only thing i'm going to do is if i get an, a job interview i will go to that job interview but if they if they end up offering me a contract it will be it will have to be significantly better paid than the other job that i'm doing because i'm going to try and treat it like a real life situation and in real life you wouldn't go and manage in say for instance a country like Slovakia or Poland if you're from England unless they offer you a decent uh, an upgrade on your wage if they're only offering you say 100 quid a week more you're not going to go and move to a different country I don't think you will there, are, there might be some that might but I know in real life if I was in work and I got offered to move to Slovakia but they're only going to pay me 100 quid more uh, a, a month for instance or a week or whatever oh that was a poor poor defensive error there uh, I'm not going to go so yeah so um, I won't lie it's going to be similar to how people like Lelujo or Dr Benji or Work the Space do it because I've simply watched their videos so obviously even subconsciously I'm probably going to be it's probably going to be a little bit similar to them but I'm going to try and put my own stamp on it and try and because I'm not trying to be like them but obviously if I watch them um, then it's just going to naturally be how I mould my style on them so uh, but yeah hopefully like I said people enjoy it either way uh, with that win we're nine points clear we're probably got enough time for two more games, so we'll try and get them done as quickly as possible. Uh, 
and then let's add in the shortlist first. Let's see how many games we've got left of the season now, because we haven't got many now. We've just got the month of April and May to do now, so we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine Premiership games, and then we've got the Champions League to focus on as well. So try and do these two games now. And then what, when we return, we'll have the Champions League games and then the final Premier League games to sort out. And we've got a decent run-up because we're playing in the Premiership. We're playing a lot of, other than Liverpool, we're playing a lot of lower teams of Villa, I suppose, as well. So we should be able to get a decent, um, uh, decent gap here. So, yeah. We've got Brighton next. They won't be easy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that European Journeyman save. I always enjoy doing that. And then another save I'm going to do for YouTube only after I've finished doing the Everton save is um, it's going to be, I don't know what team I'm going to be. I'm thinking Burton Albion simply because of their facilities. If I, I might be able to show you one here. Uh, Burton, Burton Albion. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There is a way of uh, overview. Ah, oh, there we go. Facilities, and it was here somewhere. So they they haven't got a big stadium. Um, they've got basic academy and basic youth improvements. So these will need to be improved in time. But what they have got is state of the art training facilities and state of the art youth facilities because they train um in the um it's oh, i can't remember what it's called now i think it's called st george's park or something like that basically it's the facility that the england team use when they're training for international games so i've had an enjoyable save with burton before so it'll either be burton or i'm thinking i've all I've, i have a soft spot for coventry city FC because I had a really in, a really enjoyable save with them, so I might do a mostly youth only save with commentary for YouTube, um, just to see who I and I might just limit myself to only sign in former Coventry Youth Academy products players. So Callum Wilson, James Madison, um, for example, um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, have I got him on my shortlist by Elisha Shelley? Is he doing well this season? He's doing all right. See, the, these these values are ridiculous. There's no way I've got at any chance of uh, signing a player like him. Especially with financial fair play. If, if, it, if it wasn't for that, and the board would let me do it, then I would just... I would just spend two hundred million on a player because it wouldn't bother me. It's not like it's my it's not like it's my money, it's the chairman's money. But yeah, um I've done journeyman saves before because on the side games forums there's a section for challenges and it's it's a hell of a hell of a slot. But I have done this challenge called the Ultimate Manager Challenge, where you basically have to win. Um, I'm just going to praise his loan spell. So that's the second game where he's done well. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you, you start unemployed and then you basically have to get a job anywhere with no coach, no coaching badges, with Sunday League reputation. And then you basically go work your way up and you've got to win 10 league titles, I think, and 10 domestic cups. Uh, and then you've also got to win all the Champions Leagues in the whole world. So you've got to win the European, African, Asian, South American Champions League um, and stuff like that. And then you've got to win the World Cup with, you've got to win the international competition as well. So you've got to win the European competition, South America, uh, this, the the Copper America, um, the World Cup, obviously, and so there's so many things you've got to win, 
Um, and you're going to win the top five countries league. So you're going to win the Premiership, the League One, the Spanish, La Liga, the Italian Serie A, etc. What's the other one I'm missing? The German Bundesliga. So it's a very hard save, but I always like the initial start where you figure out where you're going to start. So last time I did it, I started in South America, which not many people do because it's very hard to get a job in South America. And I end up being a team in, I think it was Peru, Uruguay, one of them two. And then I, I got a better job in a, in a higher rep team in Chile, I think it was. And then I just basically worked my way up and got better jobs as I went along. And, and it got to the point where I was just getting any job I wanted. But it's the initial start of it that I enjoy. I don't really enjoy it when you end up being the bigger teams. Um, so that was good. Anyway, right, let's get on with this game because we've run out of time. So we've got Pope in goal. Livermento is right back. Mancini in the middle. The defence with Byrne. Target, Hall, Anderson in the middle. Corriere on the right. Brahim Diaz in the middle. Gordon on the left. Isaac up front. Right. Let's, uh, let's try it. We're still nine points clear. Uh, so let's try and get another win. Let's just keep getting the wins going. Because if we keep winning, then we ain't got to worry. It's when we start losing, we've got to start worrying. So let's just keep the pressure off us. Come on, Mancini. That's it. Show a bit of that Italian class that we all know you have. Confident on the ball, Mancini. Gives it to Libramento. Back to Mancini now. Pushes it forward. Hall now. What a beautiful pass. I think he might be offside. Mm, no? Okay. It was a good little pass by Hall to Gordon then. Goal in after six minutes. Got a corner now. See what we can do. Brahim Diaz, great little goal there by him. Blasted it into the corner. Two nil up after twenty five minutes. That's good. That's what we like to see. Dominant performance by our lads. Gordon out. He's up with the goal. I don't think he scored in the wild exact, so that's good. Has he? I mean, he's doing well this season, but I don't think he scored recently. Um, there's nothing to stop he's up getting 30 goals for the season. He's already got 19. Is it 19? Yeah, 19. 17 goals in 15 games in the Premiership is actually really good when you think about it. Um, done all right in the Champions League and stuff. But yeah, with 10 games to go, not saying he's going to score in every game, but he can get at least what, like five or six more, get 25 goals for the season, maybe more, depending on how well we do. Because obviously we've got the Champions League games, if we progress, that's more games to play. So there's always a chance he can get 30 goals if we keep progressing. But um, And it'll be good for him to score against his former club, Dortmund. But you just don't know, do you? It's Dortmund. For anybody that's interested, YouTubers I follow um, when it comes to football stuff, there's a, there's a guy called Ellis Patton, who is, uh, his YouTube channel is called Away Days, and he does some really good content of him going to watch football games. He does um, football shirt content as well, and he's doing really well for himself re recently, and Dave Beckham, um, come to the classic football shirt stuff uk um shop that they've got and got to look at all the the the, the former man united shirts and Real madrid shirts that beckham wore back in the day and that was good oh another goal by isaac 
is it going to be allowed there? They are to the rescue, hopefully. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, um, I quite like Ellis. I've 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 watched him for about. I've not been from there at the start. I only watched him from about a year, just not last year, not last, not this year. Um, I think it was last year. Basically, I started watching him because he was doing the mystery box openings. So he he would order like a football shirt mystery box, and try out all these different companies. So that was good because obviously he helped people when it comes to because a lot of people can get conned in these mystery box things. And I ended up um, ordering a few mystery boxes when I had a full time job because I had all this spare money and I just felt like collecting football shirts. So I ordered some from this reputable one that he recommended and did all right with that one. Um, and then I was going to start doing it as a bit of a business, buying football shirts cheap and then selling them on to make a bit of profit, whether it was through mystery boxes or not. But it didn't work out as well as I wanted to. So what I started to do from that was go, well, what if I expanded it and not just sold football shirts? What if I just sold branded clothes? So I started going down that rabbit hole, looking at different wholesalers, looking at YouTubers and what they do. Um, and I went across and I came across this guy called Retro Jamie, who uh, was really good at that. And there's a, there was him and there's another guy called Finn, who's got a YouTube channel called Classic Off. He's another one that does mystery box, um, not mystery box, um, does... Uh, bundles he gets bundles from wholesalers and opens them up he specializes in what well, he used to specialize in college sports t-shirts and things like that so he'd open up sweatshirts and things like that from nfl teams and american colleges but and then there was uh there's another guy called on youtube called chaddy peace he's he's really good um chaddy peace really good when it comes to learning about brands and stuff I always learn so much more from him than I do from most of the YouTubes that I watch. Uh, and I just find him, like, he's a really nice guy. There's been a few times where I've been, when I've got something that I want to sell and I'm not too sure of it, so I'll message him and 99% of the time he's messaged me back and he's been really nice and took the time to talk to me about it and help me out with it. So there's some really nice people in the reselling community um, if anybody's doing it or wants to do it, it's not easy. I started with um, these small unbranded sweatshirt veils and I built it up a little bit from that. And then when I had a bit more money, when basically when I got some uh, this inheritance, I used some of it to progress my business or get better stuff. Um, and that's how and that's where I am today. It's it's um. It's not been the best 12 months. It's it, it's actually been a terrible 12 months. My eBay shop is basically non-existent in some ways. I had a decent month this month because obviously Christmas, but overall it's not been very good. But I enjoy going around charity shops and getting bargains and then basically selling them on um, for money. So the other day, the other week, sorry, I went around a few charity shops and I managed to get a stone island sweatshirt i sold i bought that for 20 quid i sold it for 100 quid i managed to get a palm angel sweatshirt these are all legit they're not fakes because i got them, i got it i got a i got them checked as well i managed to get a palm angels sweatshirt for five quid and i sold that for 80 quid now that one was a return because of a size issue but i will set it will sell at some point because it's palm angel palm angels is one of the top brands at the moment people's uh into and then i found a moncler uh polo top as well and and that only cost me about five quid so you're looking at and i sold that for 100 quid so you're looking at 30 quid spent and i've made 200 quid off that so far and i've still got that palm angel sweatshirt that i'll probably make 100 quid off so it's days like that that make it worth your while on the first the first month or two I was doing the reselling thing, I remember going to a charity shop and I picked up these pair of oh, Merrill uh, walking shoes. 
that I because there's an app you can use on e uh, called eBay Souls, and it'll tell you what particular things sell for. So when you're doing research, when you're looking at buying an item, or you want to know how much you can sell an item for, you can go on this app and you can search for it that way. And then I search for these Merrill. I never heard of Merrill before, uh, and I bought these Merrill walking shoes for five quid. They were in relatively good condition and I sold them within two days for 50 quid so I made 45 quid in the, uh, on, on that one sale and I um, from the same charity shop about a couple of months later because I got on really well with the staff that worked there they had some stuff they hadn't put out yet and it ended up being this uh, Ducati Puma race gear stuff so it was basically it wasn't stuff that was made for the public it was it was the pit team's clothing um track suits and i made i made i bought it all i bought all of it for 30 quid there was there was two track jackets um some tracksuit trousers uh a couple of t-shirts a polo top i basically a pair of jeans i had about eight or nine pieces of clothing i bought for about 30 quid in total and I made about five hundred quid in total on that on that one alone. So, like I said, that's why I enjoy doing what I do because I like the hustle. Um, but like I said, it's very hard to get stock from charity shops these days because all the managers there is have wised up, so they price things up too high now. So, I mean, the yes, um, today for example, I saw this Lee Cooper coat, and Lee Cooper is not even that special of a brand, and it was fifteen quid. So it's just things like that. You just you just you just roll your eyes because there's nothing you can do because you know it's a charity shop. And as much as I want to say, I know why you're pricing it high is because you want to make you want to get your bonuses, and that's the only reason they do it. It's nothing to do with the charity shop because a lot of the time these charity shops, the amount of money that actually goes to the calls that they're going for is ridiculously low. Anyway, enough about my rants. Right, let's get this game done, and then I'm going to call it a day. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippier on the right back, Mancini in the middle with Byrne, Target on the left, Bottman for some reason in this midfield position, even though he can actually play it. Uh, Joe Linton, Correa on the right, Almiron in the middle, Coot on the left, and Isaac up front. So a relatively strong team against Burnley. Burnley won't be easy though. But yeah, anybody that's in this chat, if you ever want me to talk a bit more about reselling or eBay, if you ever think about doing it, I'll, you know, I've been doing it for about, I'm not, I'm looking at doing, I'm, I'm now on year three. So if you want any advice, if you're, you're new or you just, or you're a reseller, and you've been doing it for a while and you just want to vent about things because, you know, there's a lot of stresses that come with selling on platforms like eBay and stuff like that. So you know, feel free to vent or ask me a question. Uh, but yeah, right. We're all over them at the moment. Twelve minutes in, we've had four. We've had six shots already. Four on target. Unfortunately, the XG is a bit low, so I don't think they're very. They've been very good shots, but we'll uh, we'll demand more and see if that works. Burnley just look like they're trying to keep possession, but they've lost it now to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to. Korea, Korea scores a cracking goal. Sorry, uh, Kufard's jaw. I've only just realised you commented onside. Yeah, and uh, I know. I thought it was onside as well, mate. Sorry, I only just saw your message in the chat. But yeah, I just went off on a rant about me eBay. Come on, let's get this. Uh, let's get another goal. Oh, what a pass to Joe Linton. Joe Linton. Oh, he was unlucky. Yeah. Um. Any anybody? Because basically, Twitch only store the streams for seven days, um, which is a bit annoying. But if you want to watch. 
um, previous streams I've done. If you want to watch this series from the beginning, I look I upload every stream onto YouTube. So if you want to just watch this unedited, go on to e um, go on to YouTube and search for Lutra FM. Uh, same name as my Twitch name. Good goal by Matthew Target there. And all the videos are there. And then obviously as well, like I said, next after New Year's Day is done. Um, so next start next week, I'm gonna start hopefully start a series with Everton where I edit where I edit the videos and I'll put like a nice little introduction and also basically just some graphics and make it all nice and tidy and I'll edit a lot of the stuff I'm saying because sometimes I'll just ramble on or I'll just sound a bit croaky or incoherent or whatever because I'm talking for too long so it won't be like this um oh uh, yeah but some people are like I, I I don't really care about watching somebody I I don't in some ways I'd rather watch the full stream instead of an edited video because sometimes you'll miss little things and and that because it's heavily edited because everybody's quite critical we're absolutely destroying them in this game um but everybody's different and i know that people have pointed out to me that some like twitch streamers they get a lot more views and likes when they do an edited video on youtube than they do doing a live stream on twitch so i've took that advice on board so i'm going to try and learn how to do video editing when i come off here in a minute i'm going to give myself a quick five minute break and then i'm going to start watching videos on youtube about video editing and trying to find the right software and then tomorrow i'm, I'm going to or over the weekend i'm going to do a everton video and then i'm going to spend the weekend editing it and trying to perfect it trying to add things like that um you know what I mean, just add things to it to make try and make the video nice and polished. I'm also gonna get a I think over the weekend I think I'm gonna get a new webcam because the camera I'm using isn't the best when it comes to streaming. So I'm gonna try and get like a HD streaming webcam because they're not massively expensive. They're only about twenty, thirty quid. And I've got some Christmas money. So if I don't spend on that, I'd only spend it on absolute rubbish. So at least it's benefiting me. If I'm getting a better camera and benefits you as the viewer. Newcastle now with the corner. That was a rubbish highlight, wasn't it? What was the point in that? So yeah, so I'm going to be ending this after this game. Um, so yeah, so thank you to Kufod's Jaw for contributing in the chat and watching for most of the stream, I assume. So I appreciate that. Uh, thank you to anybody else who's either come here for five, ten minutes or stayed for a bit. Um, I can imagine me dominating with Newcastle is not the most exciting content for some people, but like I said, what I'm getting used to streaming i'd rather pick an easy team than that and i'm also making it interesting for myself and hopefully for you by trying to see the type of players i can bring in to try and bring the best players in the world to newcastle um so my aim is to do about three seasons with newcastle and then start my journey man save but because i do this quite quickly i should be able to get three seasons done uh, stream within a couple of weeks so yeah so we should be good to go by the middle of january or something we should be ready to start the journeyman save i might start it earlier depending on other things like how well i've got the video editing done because if i can video edit the live stream videos onto youtube then essentially i can just do two days of streaming and then edit them down to do our videos on YouTube and then I'll hope to be able to produce a video every day on YouTube but we'll see like I said it's all new to me I'm trying to figure it all out but yeah I'm just gonna forward this no no I'm gonna save it I'm gonna save it now so yeah so um, thank you to everyone for like I said I know I keep repeating myself but I feel like I should always keep 
saying thank you because I'm a new Twitch streamer. I'm going to see if I can raid anybody. Um, if if my friend Actor was here, I would. Uh, I say friend loosely because people on the uh, forums will laugh at that. Uh, I don't think he's here. So we'll just do that. No, so he won't let me raid him. Is anybody on here that will let me raid him? Because the ones I tried yesterday, they wouldn't let me. So we'll try, let's try it's dinner. So we'll try it's, hold on, let me have a quick look. It's, just want to get this right, dinner. Did that work? Oh no, I did it wrong. It's, dunny. Oh, nobody's letting me raid them. Uh, raid Louis. Is it Louis? Oh no, it's Louis with two U's. Okay, no one's letting me raid. I'm going to try one more, and if that doesn't work, I'll give up. So, raid BB Rufus. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, if this one doesn't work, I'll give up. Right, I tried. I tried everyone. So, anyway. That's me, done. Thank you, everyone, again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And uh, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow at some point. And I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.